In 1990, the construction of a light train in the Dan region was decided in an attempt to counter increasing traffic in the country's largest metropolis. In order to lay the rails passing through Jerusalem Boulevard in Jaffa, it was necessary to relocate the water and sewage pipes crossing the planned route of the rails. The heart of Jaffa with its dense population, commercial areas and main thoroughfares serving round-the-clock heavy traffic would turn into a construction site. The human factor. The residents of Jaffa and the people passing through the boulevard were taken heavily into consideration during the planning and execution phases. Noise, dirt, subsidence, blockage of main thoroughfares and pedestrian passages. The complex construction work was assigned to the Stein Construction and Engineering Limited, which is specialized in projects within densely populated areas, assisted by the German Zublin Company. Four shafts were dug along the central axis of the boulevard in preparation for the tunneling work at the street corners of Dr. Ehrlich, Yehuda Hayamit, Sherit Yisrael, and Salami and Kaufman. Two parallel shafts for water and sewage were planned for each site. Stang's engineers suggested to combine the two shafts into one. A number of methods were examined for the digging of the shafts. The piles or slurry wall methods require massive equipment which would have meant cutting down or uprooting the trees. Because of their diameter, the piles would have damaged the roots of the trees and obstructed the flow of traffic. Therefore, the Schottkrieg method was used to dig the shafts. This method has proven to have the smallest negative effect on the environment. The excavation project on Jerusalem Boulevard was exceptionally complex and required solutions for a large number of problems. Digging the shafts and the tunnel routes in the middle of the boulevard, a high traffic thoroughfare with two lanes connecting Tel Aviv to the south with Cholon and Bat Yam. Danger of damaging and cracking old buildings located 10 to 15 meters off the middle axis of the boulevard, some of them without foundations large number of known and unknown infrastructure systems crossing the planned construction path. The need to preserve tall trees and other vegetation in the middle of the boulevard. Execution of the project without obstructing pedestrian traffic. Two tunnels with a diameter of 1.6 meters were dug along the route from Ehrlich Street in the south. The tunnels were pipe-jacked in cooperation with the German company Zublin. The work was executed simultaneously in both lines using the close shield method. The slow and careful excavation of the shafts and tunnel routes allowed early detection of water pipes and other infrastructure lines. Their relocation prevented damage, flooding and harm to the population. Surveyors using state-of-the-art equipment perform close daily tracking for the prevention of subsidence and cracks. The soil was extracted as slurry, which was then processed in a special separator system. The water was returned for reuse in the excavation, and the dirt was removed from the site. Jerusalem Boulevard is Jaffa's main thoroughfare. Blocking both lanes for any length of time was not an option. Therefore, the equipment was brought to the site during the night in coordination with the Tel Aviv municipality and the police. The north end of the sewage tunnel connected to the Bassa station and from there to the regional sewage system. A 24-inch steel pipe was inserted into the jack concrete pipe. The inserted pipe is 1,650 meters long and is the longest in Israel. The pipe jacking procedure for the sewage line took nine months. The water pipe was laid within three and a half months. The two tunnels are 2,650 meters long. The project was successfully executed with great precision. 
the pipe jacking procedure allowed subterranean installation of sewage and water pipes without the need to dig trenches along the entire length of the street. The inhabitants and commuters in the city were thus spared great discomfort and disruption of their daily lives. The excavation of the water and sewage pipes along Jerusalem Boulevard was completed on schedule and to the satisfaction of the various clients. Construction of the light train will begin soon.